Canon has started shipping the second mirrorless full-frame camera, known as the EOS RP. So, what does the RP stand for? Rest in peace because the product is dead on arrival? I think it actually stands for EOS Castrated. You can figure out what the RP stands for on your own and I will explain why you should buy this castrated camera in detail later. Let us briefly go through and discuss the specs. The camera features a 26.2 megapixel CMOS full-frame sensor that is said to be the same sensor as the 6D Mark II, maybe with some tweaks, but the image quality will not be far off. You can always check out the 6D Mark II flicker groups to get a glimpse of what the EOS RP can offer. The EOS RP has only a single SD card slot that can support UHS-1 and UHS-2 cards. No surprises here, since the EOS R does not have any dual card slots. Don't count on the RP to have dual card slots. It is up to you to risk a paid photo shoot without backing up to a second SD card. The EOS RP uses the new Canon RF mount. The only four available lenses are the 24-105 f4LIS, the 28-70 f2L, the 35 f1.8 IS macro, and the 50 f1.2L. With the adapter mount, you can mount EF and EFS lenses but not the EFM lenses. The EOS RP uses Canon's well-known dual-pixel CMOS AF system. There are a total of 4,779 AF points. There is also a face plus eye detection feature that the EOS R does not have. As for the drive modes, the EOS RP can achieve a maximum of 5 frames per second and approximately 4 frames per second in servo AF with shooting speed priority. This reduces to 2.6 frames per second with tracking priority. That is super slow by today's standards. You will not be using this for sports and wildlife, but it is good enough for general purpose photography. You can shoot 4K video at 24 and 25 frames per second. The crop factor is 1.7 times for the 4K video. You also do not have the signature dual pixel AF for 4K video. You can shoot up to 60 frames per second for 1080p video, but you cannot shoot at 24p. You also cannot use EFS lenses for 1080p. Let us talk about the ergonomics. The camera body is only 440 grams. That is the lightest mirrorless full frame ever. The EOS RP has also removed the top LCD panel and the touch bar of the EOS R. I am happy to remove them for a lighter and cheaper body. There is also an optional accessory grip that you can screw below that makes the body more comfortable to grip, especially if you have big hands. You also get to have the tilty swivel screen which is super helpful for vloggers filming themselves. Note that both the EOS R and EOS RP do not have in-body stabilization. As Canon puts it, Lens stabilization is superior to in-body stabilization as different lenses have different profiles. I call bullshit. While they are giving excuses for not implementing in-body stabilization, Olympus can already achieve 20 seconds long handheld shots. 
I'm sure they will be implementing in-body stabilization in future, but they do not have the know-how as yet. The best part of the EOS RP is the price. It is the cheapest full-frame mirrorless so far. The body costs $1,299 only. That's even cheaper than some micro faulted and APS-C cameras. This camera will definitely sell like hotcakes. So, is Canon really so generous to sell you a full-frame mirrorless camera for only $12.99? No way! They will go through a few rounds of castration first and make sure this model will not cannibalize their higher-end models. Castration 1 you don't get the signature dual pixel AF system when recording 4K. You can only record 4K with a 1.7x crop factor and not utilize the full frame. Castration 2. You don't get the touch bar and the top LCD panel. I am happy to drop those features since most of my mirrorless cameras do not have them anyway. Castration 3, you don't get weather sealing in this camera. That's a bummer for me. I like to shoot with confidence under all weather conditions. The body is just polycarbonate with a magnesium alloy inner frame. And castration 4, you do not get 24p when shooting in 1080p. There's nothing left to cut anymore and Canon decided to cut this just for the sake of castration. There's nothing wrong with castration. It's just typical Canon, always afraid to cannibalize their products. The trouble is, it makes things confusing to consumers now since there are caveats and restrictions here and there. So which video setting should we shoot in? That's a puzzle to solve. The entire camera industry is on the decline. Canon has reported a 11.3% sales drop in image system sales and a 32.6% drop in profits. The average consumer is happy with their smartphone photography as it is convenient and good enough. So, every camera company is hurting and going after the same small pie, the professional pie. It is obvious that mirrorless full-frame systems are their only hope. If Canon facing such a huge decline in DSLR sales yearly, they know that the cow is done for and they cannot milk it anymore. So, is Canon handicapped by being one of the last players in the mirrorless full-frame systems? Probably not. They have the biggest loyal consumer base among all the camera brands. In 2018, Canon achieved the number one in sales of mirrorless cameras in Japan, followed by Olympus and Sony. And that was achieved mostly with the crappy EOS M50 that sold like hotcakes. What's more, the entire professional lens lineup will be completed by 2019. Canon is really catching up fast, and I really like their RF lens designs. They all look smaller than the DSLR EF versions. Just look at the 70 to 200 f2.8. Some mirrorless lenses of other brands simply look like DSLR lenses with built-in adapters. You shouldn't have a mirrorless lens bigger than the DSLR lens. In marketing, we aim to be category killers. When you think of fast food, you think of McDonald's. When you think of coffee, you think of Starbucks. So, what do you think of the lightest full-frame mirrorless? You think of the EOS RP. When do you think of the cheapest full-frame mirrorless? You also think of the EOS RP. And that is the perfect formula and EOS RP will definitely sell like hotcakes and Canon will easily regain their market share in the mirrorless category. I will definitely be ordering the EOS RP. If you have enjoyed my video, please comment, like, share and subscribe. 
Thank you and bye bye.